I got a request to do a video specifically on Carrara marble, and so I'm going to demonstrate some of the techniques you can use to create it. To start, it is very important to do research and find reference images, because there's a lot of variation within that umbrella. In that research, isolate what makes that marble unique and what you like about it. Having a reference and isolating what style you're going for will be really helpful. Starting with a white base, I mixed three colors, all with varying levels of white, black, and Van Dyke brown. How dark you make it and how many colors you make is entirely up to you based on your research, but you should thin your paint with just a little bit of water, so it is more like the consistency of a thick cream. I start by lightly spraying the surface with water. The intent is to help the paint flow and blur. Then I rough in the base of the marble with two of the colors. In this stage, you are creating the suggestion of shapes and making the subtleties of the marble. While I'm thinking a bit about where the veins will be, you can see that I'm not thinking too hard about it. I'm just laying down the groundwork and using a sponge to soften it. When you start adding in more subtle veins, you don't even need to wait for it to dry. At this point, I'm not sponging the whole length of my veins, just here and there where I feel that it's getting too bold. The water and the sponge will honestly do most of the work for you, and this base will be your map from here on out. Because I'm impatient, I used a hairdryer, but you do need to be careful about that because it will push your paint around, so either be gentle and sponge at any weird spots, or let it air dry. You don't need to wait for it to be completely dry before moving on to adding stronger veins. From here on out, it's basically all the same technique. You add in your veins and soften with a clean sponge in the areas that are too bold. The main difference is at this point, I'm usually not spraying the surface with water, but rather I have a cup of water nearby that I dip my brush into when I don't want to use the paint at full thickness. The water is really helpful and important for making organic, soft shapes. It's at this point that you should really be looking at your reference to see how your veins should look. I made a marble veining do's and don'ts video that I recommend checking out, but the basics that you should note in this marble is adjusting the vein thickness, darkness, and how soft or bold they are. There is usually a lot of variety in veins. You can add paint with the sponge sometimes, like I do here. And at this point, you can add an accent color if you want. I advise you keep it very subtle and really refer to your reference for how it interacts with the other veins. Throughout the whole process, it is important to step back often to see the effect of your marble as a whole, rather than getting sucked into the details. But as you near the end, it is especially important to step back so that you can make any little adjustments for areas that look off or are not quite to your liking. This is the stage where you are fussing with it, so just be careful not to overdo it. Once you're done, seal it with a glossy sealer. Of course, you should follow your sealer's instructions, but if you are worried about seeing brush strokes, use a roller rather than a brush. And voila, you have a pretty schnazzy looking marble. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos.